Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to search for words on any page in a web browser on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So this is a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this is pretty universal, and I'm going to have three different browsers just to show you guys the different ways on how to do it. On Chrome, Firefox, and Microsoft Edge, the same function for all three of them. And most browsers are built off of Chrome anyway nowadays, so you know most browsers are just rebranded Chrome. <laughs> but um, the, the same process applies even for older browsers or browsers that have different um, web engines. But I'm covering the three most popular web browsers in today's tutorial, and pretty much any derivative browser should follow the exact same process. So it's pretty universal, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing, we're going to start with Google Chrome here. I'm going to tap the Control and the F key on my keyboard at the same time. So again, Control and F. And you see a little search box appears with a blinking cursor. You can just start typing in whatever you want to search for on the page, and it should appear here highlighted. Please keep in mind that if you're searching an image, it will not show up, so it can only search for actual text that you can copy and paste on a page. If it doesn't have text, if it's an image, it will not search an image for text. It's not that intelligent of a feature. At least not yet, maybe in the future I could see it being able to search for that. But that's pretty straightforward on that. And we can open up Microsoft Edge. Again, all these browsers look pretty similar nowadays, but generally speaking, it's the same process there. And then we will do the same on Firefox, except it shows up in the bottom left corner of the browser window. And there you go, guys, simple as that. Like with the other browsers, there's little arrows you can go up and down, search for the next occurrence on that page, and it'll tell you how many appear on the page. So if I went back to Chrome, for example, you can go up and down. You can see there's two different occurrences on this page. And the same is true for Microsoft Edge as well. So I got two different occurrences of the same word I typed in here. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do about as well help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.